Gary, morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good morning. So quickly, what made you come up with this idea to make a statement to come out to help the, 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 the police? Well, sure. Um, good, good morning again. It's, it's not an idea. It, it is what should be done as a patriot. Um, you recall right. that this is... No, but I'm sure you sat down somewhere over dinner and talking to uh, Nicole and said, you know, I should do this. <laughs> well, again, you'd have seen over the last few weeks what has been happening. Eventually, this is going to touch someone. Um, the, the, the system with crime, it, it's, it, 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 by the laws of probability, somebody is going to be affected. So even from February last year when I offered... Um, I, I, I think Paul is somewhere there. I think I should have been an independent senator rather than be a government or, or opposition senator. You mm -hmm. can't be making decisions based on what is right for your political party. You have to do it what is right for your country. Um, and there are many people on my side say, but Gary, if you do this, you're going to help. It'll help the PNM. I don't care. That is not what this is about. It's not about who can win an election. It's about trying to win, over, win back a country. We have a nation to defend. And it is very, very disheartening when it is that you will actually see. I mean, there's a guardian. If you look at the the, the, the Transamigo Guardian in the comments, almost 100% of the comments are there in agreement with what I have done. But anybody who could see this as being something that we sh that should not be done, then it means that you prefer to be more political than being concerned about your daughter being raped, your wife being kidnapped, your son being killed. If this could assist in one person less being killed, how could you in any way say you're not in agreement with it? And I'll tell you why. If Keith Rowley tomorrow says yes, I think this is a good thing. We need to bury the hatchet. You know, out of those 30 callers, I could put my head on the block. About 29 will now say yes. And that is the problem that happens in this country. Whatever your political leader says. Remember when Donald Trump said he could go down Times Square and kill someone and they will all vote for him? We are no different. We are so caught up in the realm of politics that whatever my political leader says and wants is what I will blindly agree to. Even though it greatly increases the possibility of me being robbed, raped, kidnapped or killed. That is very sad because you, you remember this movie, um, Steve, um, La Silence of the Lamb, <laughs> what it is? That yeah. you, you went to Hannibal. Yeah, we... yeah, you go to Hannibal. I don't care who you are. I don't care if it is you could help stop crime. If you could help, I am going to communicate with you. Not Trinidad and Tobago. Rory don't like Gary at the, over my dead body. You don't care if it is that that could have prevented you from being robbed, extortion, home invasion, kidnapping, rape, kill. I don't care. Rory says so. That has to end. Why does we don't put country first? And that's the way I am. I will always be a patriot before being a politician. That is where I, I had my issue with one prime minister and I had an issue with another. I am not going to put politics um, before what is right for the country. And what happened in 2018 or 2021, it worked. You, um, even the prime minister spoke about the concern that citizens are not bringing information. It's because public trust and confidence three years ago was 59%. The public trusted the police service. There was trust. And now it's 8%. So all the old talk you could say about why the citizens are not doing it is they're not going to do it because systems I put in place to allow measuring performance and making police accountable cause the public to give information. When you gave information, it gave us pol a predictive policing, intelligence-driven policing. So I think that sums it up for, you, for Steve to understand why. And again, it is very, but again, The Guardian is almost 100% of persons regardless of PNM or UNC. But on this show, I think it is amazing that 50% of persons say, I don't care if it, if it, even if it may reduce the possibility of my daughter being raped, my, my wife being killed, my son, my son being kidnapped. I don't care. I don't want Guy Griffith because Keith Rowley says so. Do you, do, since you sat in that seat for, for a few years, do the authorities know where these guns are coming from? Um, in the, when meeting with the U.S., they stated that over 95% of the illegal weapons come through the legal ports of entry. So when it is you hear this nonsense about OPV and all of that, and OPV is designed to secure your exclusive economic zone. That's 12 to 200 miles out. So the OPV will never have been patrolling between the borders of Venezuela or the waters of between Venezuela and Trinidad and Tobago. Less than 5% of our illegal guns come from there anyway, and those are more like muskets. All of the sophisticated artillery you see in the weapons, semi-automatic, automatic, come from North America. So the OPVs would have done very little. The main reason to stop it would be dealing with our legitimate ports of entry because we lose about 10 containers a year. When I say lose, misplace. So 10 containers enter. Um, it's not checked when it leaves Miami or, or New York, and it gets to Trinidad, and it then leaves Trinidad port without it being found. So, that, so when the police sees about 800 weapons a year, and 
in one container can have about 8,000. What we would have achieved by reducing the eight or eight early weapons for a 10-year season, it could come back into the island in, into, under, into Trinidad in one, didn't it, one night. That is why it is I drafted that border protection unit to show to the government how to prevent this because I worked with Miami. I, I, I twinned with the NYPD. We looked and saw what was required to, to lock down the borders by putting that border protection unit. By When I brought the, um, the mobile scanners to be able to check all the weapons that are entering um, that are coming out through the um, through the ports, putting that putting that uh, also on the port in Tobago, um, Trinidad, sorry, to stop any to check any vehicle entering Tobago to see if there are illegal weapons on it. That is the main way to, to deal with the illegal weapons. Unfortunately, you would have heard the road march by the Minister of National Security. If West Indies had lost the Papua New Guinea, he may have blamed um, legal firearms and firearm dealers. That is not the way to go. You're continuing to throw the red herring and fishing expedition on something that has not worked. For four years, you have claimed of a massive well-oiled criminal industry, and not one person has been charged or convicted. None. So it showed that, put the focus where the focus lies, illegal weapons, which has contributed to almost 100% of the thousands of murders by firearms in the last decade. And... So, okay, so get into that. But I want to come back to the Prime Minister. Do, uh, you sitting down thinking, having a chat with Nicole, did you to yourself think, well, you know, Dr. Rowley probably would not accept my, my offer and what we'll do from there? Yeah, definitely. I'm trying I, to get I, a quote that, that what Dr. Rowley responded to. I'm trying to find it right now as you chat. I know oh, Paul said it this morning. I'm looking for it here. Go ahead. Yeah, well, well again... I cannot take. I cannot be in control of what other of the actions of other persons. I can't be in control of the action of what the prime minister would do. I could only be in control of what I can do. And if I, if there is something within me that we have the capability to assist the government, to assist the state, to assist the citizens of this country, it is my obligation to do so. Because if God has given me some degree of talent that can assist in helping others, that is my job. That is the reason why I was a soldier for 17 years. That's why I was a security minister. That's why I was a commissioner. And that's why I've gone back into politics because of the, the great demand. It wasn't accidental when 89% of the country had no concerns or wanted me to remain as a commissioner. It was rejected by politicians because they said, basically, we wanted your votes. We want you to vote for us. And then when you vote for us, we will not listen to what you have to say. So the voice of the people being the voice of God went out the window. But two or three years later, it has proven that what was being done three years ago, it was the highest level in public trust and confidence in the police ever. It was the highest level in trust and confidence in a commissioner of police. Now it is the lowest level of public trust and confidence. Now it is the lowest level of confidence in the commissioner of police. It was the highest reduction three years ago in dealing with when reduction of violent crime. Now it is the highest increase in dealing in, in violent crime. So if it is that I knew what was being, what could have been done then that caused people to feel safer, the perception and fear of crime is just as important as the reduction in crime itself. So if it is that I knew what could be done and it worked, why would I just not see anything in the hope that, aha, let them fail so that it will help me get back in government? I'm not cut like that. My the, the way that I was brought up by my parents is to do what is right for my God, my country, and my citizens that, that I'm here to serve, not to try to find an avenue in hope that my opponents could fail in, in the, could give me the opportunity to get in government. I'm not like that. All right. Well, Gary, thank you so much for chatting with, I have to say, me this morning. But thank you so much for chatting with me this morning. And we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye-bye.